Hey, let's talk about snow briefly before we get into the cold. There is still some showing up. It's mainly in the form of very light snow showers, flurries, enough to drop visibility briefly and maybe give you a little minor accumulation out there. And you can see it on the Max Track Live Doppler. The beam pinging in on it anywhere from a few hundred feet up to one or two thousand feet. And as we pop over the next rad into our southeastern counties, you can also see a few of these snow showers cruising through the mountains south and east. So there's still a little bit of moisture hanging on. And we still have a winter weather advisory barely hanging on into southeastern counties. That's set to expire at 1. 17 degrees, the wind chill is at 2. And if you think this is cold, just wait till you see where we're headed. We're in a full bore Arctic assault over the next 24 hours. The dew point bone dry air out there. Dew points all the way down to 8. We have a sustained west wind at 15 miles per hour. So just about everybody's in the teens. We were around freezing at midnight and fell down into the teens. We've been hovering there. We're probably only going to be in the 20s by later on this afternoon. The wind chill, well, it's zero in Covington. Feels like it's two in Lexington, four right now in Richmond. Look at this wind chill into the upper Midwest. This is some dangerous stuff. I mean, I spent some time in northern Wisconsin. I remember 30 to 40 below, which was miserable. They've got a 51 below right now for the current wind chill in International Falls, northern Minnesota, Fargo, 46 below. Wind chill values tomorrow morning could exceed 60, 65 below. Just brutal cold. Here it's not going to be that bad, but look at the extent of the wind chill warning across the Great Lakes, the upper Midwest. We have a wind chill advisory out, something we don't see all that much. Uh, that's for Wednesday morning because it's about to get even colder. Here's the forecast for the wind chill tomorrow after single digit wind chills today. Watch what happens overnight. You can see that cold front tracking in. We could hit a wind chill out of anywhere between about 10 to 20 below from the bluegrass into northern Kentucky. Not quite as bad down south, but that's why Fayette County is already called off. We'll likely see that list growing. Uh, it won't be quite as bad Thursday morning. Still around zero for the wind chill. The wind won't be as bad, although it'll be just as cold or maybe a degree or two colder. The future track also showing that Arctic front that's coming in that's causing all this tonight. We'll have just enough moisture to work with. We may have a slightly better chance for some accumulating snow overnight and into tomorrow morning compared to what we saw last night. It's going to be colder. Anything that we see would be very powdery in nature, and we could get a brief little shot of some light accumulation. In fact, the future track spitting out a few tenths of an inch. So don't be surprised. On top of the cold and everything else we're dealing with tomorrow morning, you have a little accumulating snow into the early morning hours. So here's your eight day forecast just to give you an idea where we're heading. Mid 20s today, single digit lows tomorrow morning. Of course, what you're not seeing that sub zero wind chill and the wind chill advisory that's in place. Tomorrow's highs only in the mid teens, some lingering snow showers early on. The cold bottoms out. We could make it into the single digits to even uh, sub zero lows. That's the air temperature for the first time, those sub zero lows since last January, Thursday morning. And then we bounce back in a hurry. So there is some hope out there. We're going to make it into the 40s, even 50s, and be talking about rain chances in the next week. But for now, we may not make it back above freezing again until Friday at the earliest. Maybe not until Friday night, Saturday. Oh, my gracious. All right, Tom, thank you.